Money's got a second shot at the title. Welcome into MMA Live Extra. My name is Todd Grisham at UFC 179. That's Saturday, October 25th. Chad Mendez squares off against Jose Aldo for the featherweight championship of the world in the UFC. And joining me now on the phone from the West Coast to discuss is none other than the challenger himself, Chad Mendez. Chad, the days are counting down. How's preparation going? No, everything's going good, man. I'm, I made it through camp, knock on wood, no injuries, all the hard stuff's basically done now. How has this training camp differed from the one you did the first time you fought uh, Aldo? Uh, I think one of the major, probably the, the biggest thing is that I have a head coach now. The first time I fought him, I, we never had a head coach at Team Alpha Male, and you know, it was basically all of us just you know, training each other and, and teaching each other um, from what we thought was right and what we you know, worked best for us. So. You know, going into that first fight was a huge learning experience for me. Um, you know, I, was a, I think I had two fights in the UFC, and that was the first time I'd ever flown uh, to a different country and fought, especially in, you know, a, a country like Brazil where he's actually from. So it was huge, man, and I feel like I've learned a lot. Since your loss to Aldo in January of 2012, you've gone 5-0, and four of those wins coming by way of knockout. What did you learn from that loss that you applied to your future fights? You know, I think the biggest thing was just confidence. You know, getting in there and, and fighting a guy like, like Jose, you know, he's the champion. And I felt like I was beating him up until I got caught in the last, you know, second. And, you know, I saw my mistake that I made and, you know, I learned from it and obviously studied that, that tape a lot, um, you know. And so for me, it's confidence. You know, I felt like I can get in there and hang with anybody. And, you know, I felt like I was still pretty much a baby the first time I fought him. And, um, you know, it's just helped me. You know, get in there and feel comfortable letting my hands go. Like I said, we got the new head coach, Dwayne Ludwig, came in here and really worked on all of our striking. You know, and I feel like it really improved my whole mixed martial arts game. You know, and when there's a big hole in something, you know, it's, it's hard to mesh everything else together. And we finally filled that hole, and now everything's meshing great. This rematch was originally supposed to take place in Los Angeles in August, but Aldo pulled out with an injury. Now you do fight him, and it happens in Brazil. How do you feel about that? Yeah, man, I mean, it's, it, it kind of sucks. I was really excited to get in there and fight uh, in front of all my friends and family. You know, my, te my teammate, TJ Dillashaw, who won the belt, actually beat Jose Aldo's teammate for the belt, um, but it was in Vegas, so all of us got to go. We had a huge crowd there, all his friends, family, all of us, uh, teammates, and it was just a very emotional, awesome experience to see him get in there and do it. And, and I was really looking forward to having, you know, all the same people there for me and, um, you know, I had so many people that already told me how I bought tickets and have my, my hotel rooms booked and, you know, and then the injury happens and they move it to Brazil, which, you know, sucks. And, you know, it, it, I think that's the biggest thing for me, just knowing that those people that were already going to be there for me in, in August aren't going to be able to make it out to Brazil. You know, I, I know everyone that, that matters and that loves me is going to be watching on TV anyway. So it's, it's you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, once I step in that octagon and that, that cage closes, you know, it's a fight. It doesn't matter if it's here or on the moon. So, um, you know, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to do exactly what I know I can do. Uh, I'm going to put the, the pressure on Jose. I'm going to, you know, take take his game, and I'm going to push him to his limits and, and really test his heart and his soul. Let's talk about someone else in your division that's been making a lot of noise. Conor McGregor, he's certainly been on a rocket ship ride. In fact, he says he's going to Brazil in case you get injured. He's willing to step in for you. Are you bothered about the way he's kind of trying to steal some of your spotlight right now? I mean, definitely not bothered by that. Uh, what bothers me is the guy's, you know, talked his way all the way to the top. Um, he's got a big mouth, um, you know. He's got a huge hype train behind him. Um, but he's never he's never been tested. He's never fought anybody on my level. You know, I, I truly believe anybody with a solid wrestling background, uh, they can take a punch and they can punch hard, would, would destroy this guy. And, and, you know, I think that's me. So... Um, you know, I, I'm actually very excited for him to get there in Brazil and watch this fight. Um, you know, I, I tweeted and, and told him, you know, you can bring your bowl of Lucky Charms, sit in your third row and check it out. It's going to be a hell of a night. And I'm planning on getting that belt and, uh, you know, I'm punching him in the face next. <laughs> yeah, so he, he would be the first guy you'd like to defend your title against if you do win on the 25th? Oh, yeah. For sure, hands down. Uh, and whether I, whether I think he he deserves it or not, which I, I think he does deserve it. Uh, you know, I just, 
would really absolutely love to fight this guy. I mean, he's got the whole country of Ireland behind him. You know, these guys just love running their mouth, you know, but you know, I got the whole country of the United States behind me. You know, this is this is us for them, and, you know, he's making it that, you know, and, and you know, this is going to be a huge fight. I would love, absolutely love to punch that guy in his mouth. <laughs> I love it, Chad. USA, baby. Last question. Tell us what's going to be different this time when you fight Jose Aldo as opposed to last time. You know, there's a lot of things that I think are different from the first time. I already talked about, obviously, the head coach. Um, I feel like I've just matured so much as a fighter. Um, I mean, looking back on that fight, you know, I felt like every time I watched that, I feel like I was, you know, 12 years old getting in there fighting. And I just feel like I've grown up a lot. Um, you know, I've gotten a little bit bigger, put on some more muscle. Uh, I felt like he was... Uh, uh, a lot bigger than me the first time, um, where I think we're pretty pretty similar in size now, and, and, and I think that makes a big difference. You know, I think it's going to be completely different. It's Chad Money Mendez and Jose Aldo at UFC 179. Chad, we appreciate you being with us here on the show. Make sure you keep it tuned right here to ESPN.com slash MMA for complete post-fight highlights and analysis from UFC 179. I'm Todd Grisham. Until next time, keep fighting. <laughs>